In this session, we're going to connect to a track dash color touchscreen display. You no longer need to connect to it via USB like you did with the classic dash. All you need to do is remove the SD card. You just plug it right into your PC or your SD card reader, and it should pop right up. And if not, you can go to my computer, scroll down, and you should see the drive listed below. And in this case, we're interested in the My Sessions folder. We'll double click that, and that's going to show you all the data that you have on the card. Due to the file size, you will not need to upgrade your card at any point. The files are so small that the 2 gig card that we ship with the unit will work perfectly for the lifetime of the track dash. Um, we also do not recommend upgrading the card because the SD card included is uh, works well, and there's no need to. So we're just going to have a file here. We're going to double click on it, and it's going to pop right up in Track Studio or Track View, and it's going to show you your track map and uh, whatever graphs you might be interested in. Uh, there's an alternative way to get to this information. Uh, we're going to close this out here. Essentially, you would open Track View or Track Studio, and open Session File, or in this case, we're just going to go to the Open Window and we will see that these are all the files already on the card in case that it's not the directory loaded we'll just need to go and select where that SD card is located and go to the my sessions folder from there you'll see all the data files and basically you can pick one we'll go ahead and open it up hit OK and there it is and there's nothing else to it